A suspected eco-terrorist accused of fire bombings in Oregon is now behind bars. 50-year-old Joseph Dibby was on the run for 12 years. He's accused of being part of the Earth Liberation Front, or ELF, and was found in Cuba. Our Lisa Balick now joins us with some of these latest developments. Lisa? Yeah, this all just unfolded. Dibby, originally from Seattle, was in federal court in Portland this afternoon, facing three counts involving arson. But the FBI says his capture is part of a long effort to round up eco-terrorists, who they say did millions of dollars in damage in Oregon and other western states. For more than a decade, Joseph Dibby was on the run, hiding at spots around the world, says the FBI, finally found in Cuba, about to board a plane to Russia. When it comes to fugitives, he was the number one fugitive in my mind because uh, I, I knew eventually the FBI would, would track him down. It's just a question of where. And the fact that he would be caught in Cuba, you know, because of different relations now with Cuba, we were able, obviously able to get him back. Dibby is accused of being part of the eco-terrorism group known as the Family, connected to the Earth Liberation Front known as ELF and the Animal Liberation Front. Eleven others now serving time behind bars, accused of doing $45 million in damage to federal and private properties, often by firebombing them. Today in court, Dibby pleaded not guilty to three counts involving arson. He's accused of taking part in burning down a meatpacking plant in Redmond in 1997. He's also facing arson charges in California and Washington. The FBI has spent more than a decade tracking down members of what it calls the domestic terrorism cell with a 60 count indictment against them. Extremist groups of this nature um, engage in this conduct because they have a variety of motivations that are um, and, you know, anti, from anti-capitalism to uh, whatever their beliefs might be um, that they believe so strongly and they're willing to commit federal crimes to, um, I guess, get their message across. The FBI is still working to find the last member, Josephine Sunshine Overraker, who they say was also part of the eco-terrorism group. There's a reward of up to $50,000 for her arrest. Now, the FBI says it will continue to track down Overraker no matter how long it takes. Back to you. Amazing how many countries that Dibby lived in all these years. Thank you, Lisa.